Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of One on One with the Humble Prince. Today, I'll be joined by the executive producer of the Nigerian Entertainment Awards, the handsome, GQ looking Mr. Topwexo. Hey, nice to meet you again. <laughs> okay, okay. Topwe, welcome, man. How's Thank everything? You. Everything is good. Um, you know, just just gearing up for the main show this uh, next weekend, and uh, okay. you know, the normal usual stress that we go through. So, every year. Well, other than that, everything is good. Good man, you look good, by the way. Thank you. Great Thank man. You. I'm just supposed to say, I look good. I'm yeah, not look good. Good. At least I'm wearing Ralph Lauren now. You look dope. <laughs> <dumb. laughs> so, um, please just give us a, a little bragging. For those who don't know, tell us what the Nigerian Entertainment Awards is about. So, Nigerian Entertainment Award is uh, essentially an award show that celebrates African entertainers, um, okay. and essentially in film, um, arts, culture, uh, TV, and uh, different, different, pretty much every com compasses every genre of entertainment essentially. So we've been doing this for about uh, this is the eleventh year now. Congratulations uh, on that! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, you know, people always ask why New York, uh, and I always yes. tell people that you know the vision originally was okay. to try to uh, export the Nigerian arts and culture, the African arts and culture outside the continent. You know, okay. and we're better to do it than you know, what we consider the capital of entertainment, which is New York. Uh, and uh, you know, people still don't kind of buy into the vision, but I think more so this year, uh, people have uh, have seen the export of Afro beats and Afro pop, whatever yes. you call it, in uh, in global scene. So thank you. Uh, finally, um, a vision that we had uh, 12 years ago is becoming a reality now. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say that you took those words right out of my mouth. I was going to ask you what was the vision and inspiration behind this, yeah, but yeah. I think you guys did it out of you've done, you've done it. Outside of New York for one year or two years? Two. The very first one was in D.C. D.C. And the uh, fourth one was in D.C. as well. D.C., so okay. Why was in New York. Oh, why was I thinking Houston? Okay, sorry. Oh, no, but, um, no, okay. No, no, but it's been successful doing it in New York and everything. Yes. You, know? you know, you touched on something real quick. Uh, we'll probably touch on that later because I, I really want to focus on the Nigerian Entertainment Awards. But Afro Beats and Beats right. and Afro Pop, whatever they want to call, call it, it is getting you know? global <laughs> recognition. Absolutely. And it's time for our artists and fans and promoters alike to really take this serious. Absolutely. Or else they'll just think we're a joke and we'll just fade yeah. into oblivion and yeah. everything. Absolutely. Okay, so um, Nigerian uh, Entertainment Awards, uh, I'll be honest, um, some of the feedback I got last year wasn't the best. Right. Like I said, last year's lineup was boring. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm the first that will tell you. I'm glad you're open uh, to you know, criticism. I'm, I'm always open to criticism. I think Great. it's the only way you can grow. Exactly. Uh, though I get a bit uh, uh, passionate about the event, and but I don't let the, you know, I don't wear my emotions on my sleeves. You know, I try to kind of understand, take it in stride, and try to be a better uh, organizer over the years. Um, last year was a bit. Uh, and you know what was sad about last year was it was the tenth year anniversary. Exactly. And uh, I think the uh, the expectation fell below a lot of uh, a lot. Of, it fell below a lot of people's expectation, and I got very good feedback from uh, sponsors. Uh, and you know, not to bore you or go into details, we had a lot of internal issues that okay. uh, that created uh, you know what happened last year. If most people that follow the uh, awards. Notice that I've been kind of hands off for the last couple of years because we had some internal structure okay. rearrangement, but um, and that impacted the show, and that's why people always tell you that what happened inside really affects what happened outside. You sure, know? Sure. And that's what really happened that we almost didn't do last year's event. We almost really? postponed it. Yes, it was wow. that. It was that bad. Uh, again, due to some internal issues, but you know we were able. Uh, you know, myself and a couple of guys on the team felt like. The consistency, and you know, you don't move the tenth year of an event. I know, you ten, know, that's ten like years it, it's huge. important. So we had to do it, but we didn't do it the way we wanted to do it. Okay. Uh, for 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 main the main reason being internal issues we had that created other issues that kind of made everything kind of uh, all over the place. But I agree, it was one of our weakest lineups. Hmm. Production was all over the place. You know, uh, you know, a lot of people that we even brought on on stage didn't even know they were performing until wow. we realized that they were okay. in town uh let's mm. call them to perform to fill gaps because mm. again we we started the show a bit late uh and uh and it's, it just wasn't up to par and uh quite honestly even this year we're still recovering from the whole issues from last year but you know at least more than ever before we're, we're, we're kind of refocused and rededicated to the project because Again, a couple of us on the team just got tired of the project essentially because uh, there hasn't been much support from from Nigeria where you expect support to be from, uh, and uh, you know we're in that on un unusual we'll be between a, what do they call it a, 
uh, hard place, a rock and hard place. Yeah, yeah because. Uh, here we're not big enough community. At least we don't make ourselves big enough because we are actually a big community. I here, think but we, we don't, don't come. Big, to, we honestly. don't come together. Okay. We don't come together enough to make a force. You know the way the Jamaicans, the Caribbean will come together yes. and they'll be impactful. Africans don't even like to come. They don't like to come together. Well, let me. Let me say, so let me say, Nigerians. I think other right. African countries support. Uh, support I, there okay. was a uh, Jose something. He's from Uganda. Okay. I'm going off track a little bit, but I he performed at a concert that I was at um, the Yaya concert in DC and he's from Uganda. Okay. If you see the way the Uganda people came out just because he was there, they supported right. him big right. time. So I think as Nigerians, we need to just support. Yeah, we need, we need to support each other more. Each other more. Yeah. But I think um, that that's really what we, we struggled with because you know the lack of support um, from the U.S. just because we haven't been able to form a, a community strong enough for the cohesive. sponsors, cohesive. Yeah, right. that the sponsors will say, okay, this guy that fought, let, let's, let's support them. Uh, and in Nigeria, we're, been, we're seen as an event that happens outside the shores of Nigeria. So the sponsors will typically tell you that you know they can't make a business case to their superiors in terms of you know sponsoring an event that doesn't happen in Nigeria. Okay. So again, you're stuck in between those two worlds, and you're now left with okay, how do you that? then put together um, an event of this magnitude because quite frankly we've been doing this for 10 years a lot of us have bigger have even done bigger events than any year <laughs> you wow. know in, in, Lagos. In, okay. in Lagos or okay. in parts of Africa you know right. because then you get the support there because the event is happening there uh, but any year which is my passion it's, I can't seem to get this is just like, this is like your baby you it, really it is it, it is like, I, I do care about it because there are many times I could have easily walked away and it's, it's, for me it's not about uh, the name or or the uh, or just the popularity that goes with it. It's more or less like having something that you're passionate about, and ten years later that thing keeps growing and growing. Yeah, yes. A few setbacks here and there, but again, it, it's a brand name, whether here or in, I, in Africa. You yes. know. And I, honestly, I think it's a good product, and um, you know, I thank you guys for making me part of it for the last three years. I sure. I presented so. Um, addressing the issue of a weak lineup for yeah. last year, <laughs> what what is your lineup this year looking like? Well, here's another problem that we 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 continue to have. So, okay. um, what we haven't been able to do very well is being able to cultivate the uh, the, the up and coming artists as they transform their career to big artists and have them continue to support us. I always compare the analogy to like uh, you know you talk about the. Uh, under 17, or uh, you soccer, and I want to because I know a lot of your viewers <laughs> yeah, will understand that, yeah, okay. is uh, how you know, we're so good in under 17, but yet yeah, the national team is so, uh, I'll, I'll say bad, or terrible, right, way I know. You use it. Is that maturation process where you go from someone who really is desperate for the platform mm -hmm. and want to be part of it, and then as you grow, maturate in your career, uh, you see less value or significance in attending the event. Uh, a lot of them, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, I won't say I'm a, <laughs> I'm not a cocky guy or, or yeah, so on, you know, but I, I just, and I won't say I'm not, I'm not an unfriendly guy in this, in perspective of saying that, you know, but on what I'm trying to say is that a lot of these acts will want you to keep in touch with them on the process, right? But. For me, it's this. My passion is NEA, right? I focus on the production of it. Okay. You know, uh, I just sometimes maybe it's unfair of uh, to ask the audience is, is to see the vision. You know what we're trying to do and be it. part of it yes. as a community. We need to buy into the community. Uh, Tiwa Savage, uh, who was on the show last year, was made it last an show, two years ago. Uh, two, yeah, two, two years, years ago, ago. I remember. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Two, um, oh, I know NEA. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. But uh, she made an interesting comment because um, she said, you know, this is our awards. We need to support She did say that. When she, right. She right. did say that because she won yeah. an award for something. She yeah, she came award. Yeah. So what pains me is, and, and I'm probably going to get a lot of slack for this. Ah, say but it. But I, I want to bring it out there. That a lot of this big artists will fly themselves to... BET in LA or other places uh, to yeah. be a part of that and they will still not get recognized. They give those awards behind the stage. Exactly. You know, uh, but for them to come to NEA, they give you all those demands. Exactly. And we it's are garbage. trying to celebrate them. Exactly. And yet, they make it so difficult for us. Honestly, I don't have to do an award. 
I've, I mean, I've, I thank God I've been fortunate in my career. Yeah, you don't People think well. it's about money. I can show you a P and L. You know, this America, no. you pay taxes on everything. I will yes. show you the books. Yes. There's no money in this thing. We, 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 we constantly have to shelve in personal funds to make this thing happen. Right. But, you know, people will see your sponsor video, they'll think it's one big money. We make all those noise just to make the sponsors, other course, people to see. It's a course, strategy. People course, understand. People that do course. events will understand that. But the bottom line is, uh, there's just the, 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 the art, the entertainment community, and this may be unfair. I don't want to generalize. No. I think there's a lot of people who support, who will call and say, how's everything? Hope you guys are yes. good. Because they understand that we, we, we're, we're in it to promote them, you know, to exactly. bring them Exactly, not just to promote them, but ce celebrate them. Celebrate Give them, them more, promote them. you know, more right. visibility, everything. Some exactly. of them may feel they outgrow the, they've outgrown NEA, which is fine, hey, you But know. you don't outgrow the BET Awards. Exactly, so, I mean, you know, the, the and they don't even give you the awards on, on stage, they give you at a post event, you know, so um, I, I think it, it's important. And I'll say that because I want people to think about that, yes. you know. As we go through this process, because, and the reason why I bring that up is because more and more we we, we get a lot of the new kids on the block that okay. attend the event. You may not know their names, but you will know their music. Well, okay, sorry, excuse me. Did IRJ perform at one? Yes, IRJ performed a couple of times now at yes. any of the very first time. Nobody knew where IRJ was. Yeah, well, we know him now. He's all over the radio. One hundred five point one. Here. He did a song exactly. with Fetty My son knows him. Exactly. Your number. Or no, no, like that. See, see, that, that's what we maybe we haven't, and that's part of our humility within the group. Is yes. a lot of artists have gone through the platform, and whether it's just the fact that they were in a platform like ours that gave them the boldness to go do what they're doing now, yes. or whatever the case may be, but they were part of that. Pipeline. You gave, you know, in, in you gave the platform. You gave them a platform. Yeah. You gave them a good beginning. Yes. For them to propel themselves. Exactly. And they're doing things now. And they're doing things. And all Honestly, good. That, I mean, that's our vision. Yeah. To celebrate them. And that's perfect. Exactly. That's what we want. But just remember the guys behind, you know, who, again. You know what? I, and I'll be honest. So what you're saying, right? Um, I followed this guy on, um, what do you call it, on um, Instagram. Okay. Who's that? Um, Banky W. Okay. And I, I saw one day, he did something that really impressed me. Mm. He gave a big shout out to Cuz, like mm. saying happy birthday or something. He right, said right. Cuz was there from day one and everything. Yep. You'll never forget that. Yep. I think that's the kind of attitude that needs to be contagious among some of these yeah. artists. Because to be honest with you, I put up a post the other day. I think some of these artists, they, they feel they're bigger than, than what they really are because right. of likes on social media. But yeah, when you yeah. come here to perform, you're you not selling. Sell out. You're not selling out. So how big are you? What is, what is your uh, yeah. likes on Facebook is, and Instagram yeah. is garbage. You, you we want you guys to sell out venues, and those of us that are here can do. Can I think we can help you guys right. do that right. exactly? And yeah. I, I like what you said, and I, I want to reinforce that again. That you know, you fly yourselves out to BET Awards and right. everything. They don't even recognize you guys on yeah. the TV. Fine, okay. I, I know the NEA's um, is shown. Right. It's given vision, but you know, why can't you guys extend the same? Attitude towards it. That, that's Why do you want to fly asking. first class and fly your mama, your yeah. aunt, everything? The, the I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. a burden on the awards itself. That the demands are so ridiculous. Exactly. I can't even mention some of the demands. Exactly. On, on I mean, TV, we're go I mean, it's... we're talking, man, and you know, we're going to into. I was going to ask you what are some of the challenges, but yeah. I, you, you already spoke it, about it's, that. It's, but. Yeah, it's those two things. It really, is the support from right. from sponsors and and more so the some. I wouldn't say all some okay. talent. That uh, that makes you know, kind of life difficult for us in terms right. of, and I'm a kind of person I don't dwell too much on it. If I approach you to be a part of it, if your demands are something that I can bear, I move on. I move on. I really move on. I just don't have. And, and I want to emphasize, and, yes. and, and maybe this is a good platform. It's been in my it mind. Please. I wanted to say it is. We at some point we need to make NEA more than just the artists themselves, and that's part of what I've told my guys. Okay, that good. This is the year we need to transform. NEA has to be about the willingness to come and the ability to put on a good show. So it's yes. not necessarily about how big you are. I really don't care how big you are anymore because though I need to now translate that to the fan base who are coming to watch the show okay. because they are still on that mindset of, oh, it has to be a big artist, which is what the leading question was, was right. it was a weak one up. But I want that question next time to be, it was a, it was a weak performance rather than it was a big uh, it was okay, a week. that's good. You know, she so understand. It was a week so, performance. So we, we want a quality performance. Quality performance. Exactly. You don't have to be, uh, for example now, I don't want to mention them. Let's assume that you're not even a big artist. Or you're, you're a big artist, but you don't have any big songs at the moment. But your performance is on point. Exactly. I'll bring you on that stage. So people may say, oh, that guy is old school now. No, but the performance set is on point. Exactly. So that's where we need to get to now. And that's what I want the next phase of NEA to be. 
uh, is about performance, it's not about yeah. popularity. So it's, plus, again, eleven years in the game is not a game. It's it, it's yeah. it's not a joke, For man. Anybody who has done events yeah. before, eleven, 11 years, straight years of right. nonstop. Exactly. Yeah. Fine, you face some challenges, but you know you have all these award shows coming up. Yeah. I'm sure they must have seen any and say, you know what, we can do this, and it, you know. And well, we know a few people that have tried and, and they, they got knocked off. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's and, not easy. And frankly, we are the longest running entertainment award in the whole of Nigeria. People don't realize that. Really? We are the longest. The other Let awards that was um, competing with us, is, is they skipped one year. So that makes it... So that's how you guys to, about Yeah, that's how we now okay. became the longest consecutive award show, yeah. entertainment award show coming out of Nigeria. Right, so, so, and that should count for something because it, it's, it definitely it's, should. It's not easy. And here's another thing. I think the um, they couldn't survive the challenges, but you yeah, guys did. We did. We did. <laughs> on all we the did. burden. So. And I, a wise man once told me that, you know what, whatever you do, just keep moving. Never stop. It's yeah. Once you stop, that's it. So that gives me that mindset about, you know, uh, and in business, they always say, it doesn't have to be perfect before you launch it. It's the same mentality. It doesn't have to be, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. One day, you're going to get it right. I've always Somebody said that. I read somewhere, I think my dad or maybe my mom told me, they said, life is like riding a bicycle. Yes. Once you stop, you lose balance. You lose balance. Exactly. Thank you. I know we're going, going, yes, we got to round up soon. So yes. real quick, um, I know who's hosting this year. Not yes. me, <laughs> I, you know, but um, RMD. Yes, sir. Agent like fine wine, man, with the silver fox gray. I, I didn't even like that guy. Interestingly man. enough, when we, when we picked him and announced him, a lot yeah. of, um, of people who approached me on WhatsApp are like, huh, R&D is an interesting choice, but why? I think they? it's a good choice. It's they, they, trending. They, they, what they said was, it was older guy, but any is supposed to be a youth thing. I said, well, that's a correction. It should, it's any is not a youth thing. It's an entertainment yeah, it's thing. It's an entertainment you know, thing. And the man is, is a good brand. He may not be known to the diaspora African you know, I mean, no Nigerian movies, movies yes, right? If you yes, watch Nigerian movies, but he's now. a big star, you know, and he's you have to connect star. to different worlds when right. you're doing this award. And exactly. it, for us, it's a connection to a bigger market in Nigeria. Exactly. Strategic and, and to be honest with you, what I like RMD, I think he's very personable. Personable. People want to come out and see him. I very hope he can classy, hang around, take pictures, take and picture. you know, very cool, cool yeah. Guy. And who's his, who's his um, co-host? Uh, we're looking at uh, Justin Dumas. Okay. So we're looking to bring um, uh, to co-host. Um, she's a beautiful Ghanaian actress. Uh, good. Okay. Who, that kind of expands it. Yeah. Okay, good. And, and again, we, people will say Ghanaian, Nigerian. I mean, well, we Ghanaians are more like our sisters. Anyway. Yes. We're Funny enough, the very first Kenya was hosted by a Ghanaian, Michael Blackson. Right, right, when right, was, right, right. You know, before he blew up. <laughs> <laughs> now, know, he was big then, don't get me wrong. He was big, but yeah, yeah. Was I think yeah, he now. was big. He was yeah. on um, Friday too, yes. wasn't he? Yes, yes, yeah, that was around he the, said the first one, around so. time. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. So I know we spoke about some of the challenges already yeah. and everything, and um, how are you guys overcoming those challenges for this year? Well, and how you, how are you guys going to give us a better show than we had last show. year? So, sorry, so before I go in, right. so one of the challenges I've had to, like, I mean, not challenges, but one of the complaints I get from people mm-hmm. is that you guys have been doing this for 11 years. You should right. get it right. Production should, should be on point. Right. There should be no hiccups, no mishaps. That mm. We want a, a, just a good, good show. well-produced show. And, and, and again, I like that they're holding you guys to a higher standard Absolutely. and putting you guys on the on the same level as like the BT Awards, the Source Awards, and mm. even the Grammys. I mean, for like on the Nigerian tip. Right. You know, so Absolutely. talk about that. I think um, it, it's a fair criticism, and the only difference would be that funding aspect of it because okay. uh, funding and resources make every event looks good, right? Okay, good. So for not having the ability to be a fully funded award show, we have to kind of go around things. And this okay. year, just to answer your question, this year to, we're trying to make the show better by bringing in a few ele- creative elements. Okay. Uh, we're bringing in Kafi, who is one of the top dancers in Nigeria. Good. Uh, Izine, who is part of the senior dancers. Oh, good. She dances UK, for Tiwa Savage. Savage. So yeah, both good, of them good. are going to choreograph the entire show from a creative level. So okay. uh, you hopefully, if the artist listens, okay. get a better performance set. Okay. Uh, and, and, and again, try to definitely stick to timing because that's where we know for a fact we fail every year. And that's timing. because okay. uh, a couple of years we had some hiccups in the logistics of moving the host from the hotel to the venue, you know, okay. traffic or whatever it is, and they get to the event late and that spillover Sorry, yeah. starts late. So and we're going to cor- address that. And, and we want people to come out early too because if, they have if, to. if, the, if the guests come out early the show starts in you time. know how it is we have to shut down the venue at a certain times or they're going to shut us down so exactly. if people want a three hour show you come early if you want a two hour show we we'll give you a two hour show unfortunately <laughs> so it, it but depends on you. we have to hand at a certain time right so please um tell them um where's the when is the event and where's it taking place september 4th uh nea 2016 nea tribeca performing arts center 199 okay. chamber street in new york new york you can get tickets www 
N E A Awards with an S dot okay. org. O R G. So Thank check you. it out. We have other events in the weekend where you can all find it on uh, on our social media. Follow us at yes, at please. NEA point Awards. Yes, So again, NEA at, Awards at any Awards. All the social media: it's Instagram, Facebook, Facebook Twitter. Everything. And that's September. September fourth. Yes. Okay, what time? Uh, five p.m. Be there, and it is five p.m. Eastern Standard Time, not yes. plus two. Okay, exactly. Like it's five p.m. Eastern Time, yeah. and that's again one ninety nine Chambers. Chamber Street, Tribeca yeah. Performing Arts Center. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, my production team just said we have to wrap up, but I, I also wanted to um, like ask you some other questions. But hopefully, maybe when you come back, sure, um, to give a recap of the show, I'd sure. like for you to do that and everything because Absolutely. I want to say if we have some of the performance. People that are gonna perform that night, please. We don't want them. People have been complaining a lot about lip syncing and everything. Uh, we wanna, you know. So yeah, let, we'll talk about we're, that. We're, but, uh, we're definitely we're we're gonna try to stay away from that. But exactly. you know, a lot of these artists, that's what they're used to. You know. Yeah, we're, I know. We're, we're working on that. We have everything scripted, so hopefully we, we the, 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 the performance yes, come out with a. With uh, a anybody presenting? Uh, I'm sh- <laughs> definitely you <laughs> will present it. Better. You know. Thank you. Uh, and a few other ma- uh, big celebrities that were, that that uh, yeah, on the well, way. I'm, and, I'm uh, also well guys that's all the time we have um thank you for watching this episode of one-on-one with the humble prince with the executive producer of the nigerian entertainment awards you don't want to miss this show please come out and support um september 3rd go to the website oh september 4th excuse me please go to the website the website again is www.neaawards with s.org yeah there you can find all the information and everything so We'll be looking forward to you for a recap and thank you for stopping yeah, by. Thank you for having me. Appreciate okay, it. Great. We're out.